What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is DJ CS. Welcome to an all new video here on my YouTube channel. No face cam this time. Rockstar decided to drop two news wires, one for Red Dead Online, one for GTA, GTA Online today. So I've got a lot to do, so I didn't wanna waste any extra time dealing with face cam stuff. So we're just gonna get right into this. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop it a like. I greatly appreciate that. So in this video, we are focusing on Red Dead Online. And as you can see, there is snow in Red Dead Online. Now this is not the first time we've had snow in Red, De Red Dead Online, but this is the first time I'm dealing with snow in Red Dead Online because while I did play during the beta, it was kind of sparse here and there. And then I, uh, I fully uh, started playing Red Dead Online in like January of this year. So I didn't really get to deal with the snow. I didn't get to see it a lot, but I finally get my chance. Here it is. It's pretty awesome. It's not, you know, blanketed like it is in GTA Online, but it is still pretty cool and it does affect the temperature. So if you, when you go to La Grasse, and you see the grass is 25 degrees, that's pretty different. Now, it does affect the temperature, but it doesn't affect the animals. The gators are still in the water, so watch out for them. But like I said, Rockstar dropped news wires on us, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into that right now. So it says, holiday season sweeps the frontier in Red Dead Online, and they have this cool little GIF, uh, short little video package, whatever this is. They have this for us to see. Um, so it's kind of like a little Christmas card to all of us. And it says, get into the spirit with festive decor, free gifts, seasonal sales, and more. A seasonal chill is sweeping the states, bringing heavy snowfall and a bracing shot of the warming holiday spirit along with it. The streets and halls of Saint Denis are decked with wreaths, lights, and decorations galore. The speakeasies and moonshine shacks are packed with garlands and baubles, whatever the heck baubles are. Uh, the streets of the cities are filled with songs of merry carolers. Now, I rode around Saint Denis. I didn't really see a lot of lights or wreaths or anything stuff like that. So maybe they're just in like the main, uh, like the, that one main road that goes kind of through Saint Denis. I was up by like the train tracks and stuff. I didn't really see anything like I said, but. I'm not doubting that they are there, I'm sure they are there. As for the Moonshine Shack though, I did go to my Moonshine Shack and you can see in the Moonshine Shack here we have lights and wreaths and there's a tree over the corner. Now it doesn't matter what kind of bar decor you have turned on. I went up, I changed it to the Gothic decor which is my personal favorite, I didn't know I didn't have it on to begin with, but I changed it to that and you can still see that there are still those lights, wreaths and Christmas trees in the same areas. Also, our camp has a Christmas tree, so if you decide to get uh, Crip some Christmas presents, so you can put them under the tree, or hell, maybe he decides to give you a Christmas present and he puts it under the tree for you. And then it continues, seasonal gifts and items. With inclement weather setting in, visit the benefits page in the pause menu to pick up a free set of gifts, including a coupon for a free coat to protect you from the elements as well as a coupon for a free repeater. The holiday even softens the steely spirits of local gunsmiths who are giving out the brand new Winter Evans repeater variant gratis, which means free, just for stopping by this week. While you're there, consider picking up the seasonal Krampus shotgun variant of the double barrel shotgun, the latter of which has had its rank locked restrictions temporarily lifted, so you can go and pick it up. I forgot to go and see how much it was, um, but, if that's something you're looking for, the Krampus shotgun variant, then I definitely would recommend you checking that out. Um, I think they, yeah, this is actually what they're showing it. They're showing us right here in this picture. You can actually see Krampus is right there on the wood carving. Um, and then here is the winter variant of the Evans repeater, which is basically just a uh, white fabric wrapped around it. No big deal. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to the gunsmith Go to the catalog and then when you're there, you're gonna go to the Evans repeater if you don't have it already, which I did not. And then you're going to click to use your offers and rewards. Then you will see the coupon for it for free. Once you have purchased it, then you can go to your variant and you can choose the winter Evans repeater variant, which is basically, like I said, a white fabric wrapped around it. It's nothing special. The Krampus shotgun variant definitely seems more interesting. So I will have to check that out. And again, oh, unfortunately I didn't do that out. this time. Um, but I can only imagine how much it costs. It's either cash or gold, one or the other. Speaking of cash or gold, we have new Turkleman horses. 
Stables across the states are offering a range of dashing new Turkoman breeds, including gray, black, chestnut, and Perlino variants. Now, I did go and check these out. Um, you're going to see them on my screen here. They are grayed out. That's because I didn't open a stable spot for them because I'm honestly not too interested in getting a horse right now, um, which is something you should think of before you go and buy these, especially the black one. As the gray chestnut and Perlino, all going to run you about $1,000 but the black one will cost you 40 gold. Why it costs 40 gold, I don't know. Why it's singled out, I don't know, but it is 40 gold. And with gold being a lot more difficult to make these days, that's definitely something you want to consider before purchasing. And what's Red Dead Online without its showdowns? We have festive showdowns. Grab a couple friends and celebrate with a little competition this week by playing festive renditions of modes like Make It Count, Bow and Arrow, and Last Stand, offering triple the usual RDO money and XP payouts. Continues on with Bounty Hunter bonuses. Bounty Hunters and prestigious Bounty Hunters alike can take advantage of double XP for their character and role progression in all manners of fugitive apprehension. This includes taking down bounty targets and playing Bounty Hunter free roam events. Plus, high level bounty hunters can tackle a different infamous bounty mission sequence from each of the 13 bounty boards, all of which feature a three part mission you can embark on solo or with a posse. And then we have holiday discounts. It says seasonal sales are in full swing. Even Crips is in a festive mood, offering 30% off everything for sale at Wilderness Outfitters, from camp themes to canine companions and beyond. Aspiring capitalists and bootleggers can take 5 gold bars off the cost of the butcher table and 10 gold bars off the cost of the moonshine shack respectively, as well as 30% off all trader wagons, including the hunting wagon, all moonshiner items and shack upgrades. So that is a pretty good deal for all these newcomers who just started off. 10 gold bars off the cost of Moonshine Shack and then 30% uh, off all the trader wagons, the Moonshine items and Shack upgrades. So that is a fairly good deal. For people like me who already have all this stuff, that means nothing. And then Prime Gaming, Red Dead Online players who connect their Rockstar Games social club account to Prime Gaming will receive rewards for a free Bounty Hunter license, already have it. An award for trimmed Amethyst, Amethyst, Sure, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Bounty wagon livery. In addition, players who connect their Prime Gaming before January 18th will receive a award for a free ability card upgrade and an offer for 50% off a weapon pamphlet at the fence. So pretty good deals there finally for once for uh, Prime Gaming. Other than the free Bounty Hunter license, like I said, I already have that, had that. Don't need a free Bounty Hunter license. Also new this week, we have a new legendary bounder, Virgil the Shepherd Edwards. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the last legendary bounty we have in the game. I'm pretty sure they said that there was only three. I'm not entirely sure on that, so don't quote me. But I think this may be the last legendary bounty we have in the game, which is kind of sad. He is the leader of the Sacrilegious 7th Generation Sect. The cult leader's prophecies are growing progressively darker and his followers more bloodthirsty. Virgil, the Shepherd Edwards, the deranged leader of the 7th Generation Cult, as I just mentioned, has been identified as a significant threat to peace, law, and order. Uh, Edwards' follows, Edwards' followers are recognizable by their distinctive robes and an upside down seven carved into their foreheads by the Shepherd himself. Edwards and his flock are also known for carrying on about the mercy, a ritual of bloodletting leading them to their rapture, the sect has laid low, biding their time and numbers while the leader's sermons grow increasingly grim and influential. If you do approach, do not expect any of the 7th generation to go down without a fight. Bounty hunters in possession of the prestigious Bounty Hunt license can start tracking down the shepherd by visiting a local bounty board, return to the bounty board to replay the mission at an increased difficulty after a brief period. So I still have yet to do the bounty we got last week. Um, Maybe I'll get around to it. I'm not entirely like I've seen a lot of people go for like the level five bounty and I'm not into all that. I may do them once, possibly twice, but I'm not trying to go crazy with these prestigious bounties. So um, bounty hunting is not one of my favorite things to do in this game. I'm just simply doing it to max out my rank to get to 30 and to max out the outlaw pass we have. And speaking of ranking up, we have Bounty Hunter bonuses. Bounty Hunters of all stripes earn double character XP and roll XP throughout the holidays. 
This includes taking down infamous bounties, some of the most dangerous and elusive targets, with unique fugitives available to prestigious bounty hunters at each of the different bounty boards across the frontier, and be sure to visit the bounty board in Valentine if you have yet to do so, as some senior members of the Shepherd's Flock can be pursued there. And that is going to do it for this week's Red Dead Online Newswire. A lot going on. The snow will be here, I assume, until Christmas, and then it'll disappear again afterwards, possibly come back either New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. That's kind of how they do it with GTA. I'm not entirely sure how they do it with Red Dead Online, but I'm going to enjoy the snow while we still have it. Like I said, that is going to do it for this video, guys. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop it a like. I would greatly appreciate that. With all that said and done, guys. My name is DJCS. Have a good one. I will see you in the next video. And as always, don't forget to tip your DJ. Later, dudes.